The goal of Simple BIM is to model data for your purpose. This is also true when using BIM sheet. The models rarely are perfect, so many times you need to do some adjustments to them in order your calculations to work. My name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome. In this BIM sheet tutorial, you will learn how to edit and adjust your models from BIM sheet and the other way around. You should already have a BIM sheet available. If not, create one or open the Getting Started BIM sheet as I have already done here. Now let's look at the columns for example. Select all the columns from the BIM sheet. Make sure that you have Listen on in your properties palette so that it follows your selections. Right now all the column type identifiers are 4M for some reason. Select a row from the BIM sheet. It is this column here. Change the value in BIM sheet and as you can see the value is also changed to the model. If you now export the model back to IFC, then these edits will be part of the exported model. In some situations, this might be a handy way to edit the model. How about the other way around? In our Getting Started BIM sheet, we created an extraction rule for internal walls. Part of the rule was that we only wanted the walls with type identifier started with INT. Now, let's say the model is not perfect. Some internal walls don't have the type identifier defined, or they have some default value, or have some spelling mistakes. Here are a few examples. Obviously, our data extraction rule cannot find these objects even though they are internal walls. So my options are to call to the designer and complain, change the data extraction rule, make additional data extractions for these special walls, or I can simply adjust the model. Let's try the latter one. Select all the walls, go to the properties palette and find the problematic walls, edit their type identifier, and finally reload the PIM sheet and the calculation is updated. Issue solved. It doesn't have to be any harder than that. The original data extraction rule now works even for the problematic walls. Note that in the current version you need to reload the PIM sheet in order the filters to update. In the later versions this will happen automatically. In this tutorial you learned the basics how to edit models from BIM sheet and the other way around. Please check the other tutorials to learn more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.